through his wildly popular group on Facebook, we found another genius behind the looking glass, David Madden, whose humble style belittles his unquestionable talent. A lot of photo, a lot of pro, a lot of, what do you call, photogs. I'm just a photo hobbyist, basically. I've never actually used a film camera. Uh, I never owned a film camera. So uh, but when this child came out, I figured I, I could start because it's, it was um, basically affordable. There's no consumer goods involved and stuff like that. So I just picked up from there. And as we found him on the internet, he used that as well to sharpen his focus, shall we say? Well, I actually started competing on a, on a site overseas. Um, this site includes a lot of um, photo hobbies, noobs, professionals, photojournalists. It allows us to help each other. And when, when we compete, of course, well, we are tasked with shooting. And we, we get criticism, we get critique from all, all manner of our photographers. And um, it is a, it's a critique that actually helps us to improve. So we set about giving David a task to shoot for us as well. Um, what I was trying to do is just achieve some low light shooting. I had hoped that it would have been a little bit more choppy because when it get when it gets choppy, we can get uh, with a long a long exposure. We can get what you call a, a misty effect where the ship looks like it's in the, it's actually in the fog. Because what happened is that if I was fully exposed for about 30 seconds. But what happened is that you get the waves going back and forth, but because it's just in one picture, it would give the effect that it's, it's, it's foggy. He also has some tips for all of you to make your memories even more memorable. Well, what you could do is stay away from the stereotypical um, shooting, like shooting the beach scenes and farm scenes, because we have a lot of architecture. We have a lot of old architecture, downtown and um, the Kingston. Um, if you go into the small towns, you can shoot um, rustic red brick architecture, um, old forts. That would really enhance your film, yeah? because you'll be, be going away from the, the stereotypical you know, beach with the palm trees and stuff like that. And he has some tips on technique too. Stay away from center composition. The rule of thirds, what we call um, leading the eye. To the, to the left, you put, if you want to shoot, uh, for instance, me standing here doing an interview, I mean, you wouldn't really want to shoot the dead center. Use the coastline to allow the eye to follow the coastline, and I will be in either the left corner or the right corner, or wherever you want to put me in the photograph, but dead center is usually not a good place to be. One con flaw the other people, um, like shooting horizon is that there, they get carried away with the sunset and all that and they forget one simple thing and it's leveling the horizon and you end up with tilted horizons and you have to end up copying it and in copying you actually end up losing a lot of the photograph so what you want to do is concentrate on the basics once you get the basics done you settle down and everything will flow you'd think a career path for david is as clear as his pictures but for now, he's happy just doing what he's doing for the love of it. Right now, I don't see myself doing it for it. I just see myself doing the other photo hobbies. So I want to take it as far as it can go and continue to learn because I'm still learning. That's, that's basically where I want to go, photo hobbies. I'm a photo hobbies. With many sunrises on his horizon left to capture.